Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you six DIY decor ideas that you can make using items from the Dollar Tree. These are gorgeous for the summertime. For the first DIY, I want to use this clothesline frame that I found at Dollar Tree. I thought it was a really cute base, as well as this vacation fund framed bank. I loved this as well and wanted to make it more my style. I'm also using this wooden box. So first of all, I removed the back off of that clothesline frame. I'm just pulling up the little spikes on the back and removing the back cardboard area. And then I'm also taping around the glass or the plastic part of the Vacation Fund piggy bank. So I'm just using painter's tape and masking that part off because I want to paint the frames. So I'm using my favorite chalk style paint. This is Rust-Oleum Chalked Paint. You could DIY your own chalk paint and I will leave a tutorial for that in the description box below. I just like this kind of paint because it covers nice and quickly. It's very thick and also you can sand it later to give your pieces a distressed look and that's what I want to do with these because I want to go for more of a beachy shabby chic theme because this matches my aesthetic more so I'm just painting the black parts of both of these frames with this paint I gave them both two coats of paint and you don't have to be very uh, perfect as you're painting these because you're going for this shabby chic look this distressed look so don't worry if you have any streaks or even any little bits of black showing I think that's going to add to the appeal of this beachy shabby chic look at the end I'm also painting this box as well with the white chalked paint and I'm using a sponge brush. So for this wooden box, I'm painting it inside and out. I also painted a plaque as you can see in the bottom left. I'm not going to be sharing that DIY this time, but stay tuned to some more Dollar Tree DIYs coming later in the season where you'll see what I did with that white plaque. So after I painted everything once, I'm going over it again with the same chalked paint and then painting a second coat. Now I'm taking this Rust-Oleum Chalked Spray Paint. This one is called Coastal Blue and that cardboard insert from the clothesline picture frame, I took that out and I'm spray painting it this coastal blue color to be sort of a summery themed color. Then I found this fishing net decorative piece at the Dollar Tree. I wish it was a little bit of a smaller scale, but it still works with my DIYs today. I think it gives these pieces such a nautical look. So I'm just pulling it over the backing that I painted here with the chalked paint and I'm just kind of making it taut. And then I'm taking my glue gun and putting little blobs of glue underneath where the netting connects and securing that to the back of that frame. So I went ahead and did that to every part where the net connects together, where there's an intersection, and that made this netting nice and secure on the back of this picture frame. Then after that, I trimmed all of the excess netting just like this, and I like that nautical look. Once my frame for this piece was finished, was dry, I took a sanding sponge and just lightly sanded over the edges of the frame as well as a little bit on the top of the frame to give it that nice shabby chic nautical distressed look that I love. I'm really happy with how that finish turned out. And then I'm putting that backing that I put the netting over top back into the frame just like this. I love how nautical and beachy this looks with the blues, with the distressed whites. And I also found these seashells at the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just putting some glue gun glue on the backs of them and securing them to the frame. So I have two in the right corner and then one seashell in the left corner. As a final touch, I took my favorite dollar store twine. Love this stuff, use it for so many things 
cut off a piece and tied it into a bow and secured that between the two shells on the right hand side of this frame. And that is the first DIY. It's a really cute nautical picture frame. I love how it looks for the summer. I took some pictures that one of my favorite photographer friends took of me and the girls last spring and I put them in this frame to display them on our sideboard in our living room. Such a great piece for only a few dollars. The next DIY is this bank that I found. So as you saw at the beginning, I painted the frame with the chalked paint white. Now I'm just removing the back of it and removing the painter's tape as well. Then I'm doing basically the same thing. So that distressing effect with the sanding sponge. So I'm sanding all the edges of my piece as well as a little bit on the sides to give it that shabby chic distress look. As for the backing, I do actually really like this tropical print, but I wanted to give it more of a nautical, shabby chic vibe again. So I cut a piece of fabric in my favorite colors, aqua and white for summer. And I'm just putting some glue gun, some hot glue on the back of it, and then securing, securing it back onto the back of this piggy bank picture frame. You could also use scrapbook paper, you could paint it. There are so many different ways that you could customize the back of this really cute vacation fund piggy bank. Then I put the back back on the frame like this and I thought it needed something a little bit more so I took some raffia ribbon. This stuff is so cute. I remember my mom using this lots in the early 90s. A little hard to work with but I think it looks so beachy. So I just tied a bow with three strands of the raffia ribbon and then I secured it with hot glue at the top center of this vacation fund bank. I also trimmed the bottom of the bow like this so you could read the words nicely and that is how I created more of a custom looking bank. So my daughters are already using this to uh, save money up for our next adventure. It's probably going to be somewhere nice and warm and this is just a cute way to decorate our living room for summer as well. So now back to this wooden box. Again, I am also sanding this one. You guys know that I love this technique. I use it often. But of course, if you don't like the distressed white look, you could use a different paint color. You could just avoid sanding. Just customize these to make them match your decor and your style. I'm using this wood stain by Verathane and after I've sanded everything, I'm taking a rag, dipping it slightly in the wood stain and then rubbing it onto the outside of the box. I was trying to create almost like a weathered wood, beachy sort of look. So I'm just rubbing a little bit of the stain over the edges of the box and the sides. I'm not too worried about making it look perfect again. I want that weathered look. I want that aged look and I'm just kind of, you know, playing with the stain as I go. So after I wiped stain all around the perimeter of the box, I took a dry rag and I'm just rubbing it off like this. So the effect is kind of like a vintage whitewashed wood and I'm really happy with how it looks. And now I'm going to make a little planter. So I found this floral foam at the Dollar Tree as well as this moss at the Dollar Tree. Place the floral foam in the bottom of the box and then I'm placing the moss over top of the floral foam. I absolutely love these picks from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed I think 20 of them last time I was there because I thought you could use these succulents for so many different things. So in this case I'm just leaving the stems on and I'm pushing them into the foam at the bottom of this box to create a cute little planter. If you found the succulents that have the little um, clips on them, you can put some stems on them from other flowers that you have on hand. And then I'm taking some twine, wrapping it around the side of the box and finishing it off with a bow. And here's how this little succulent planter turned out. I think this is a really cute and simple DIY that adds some summer fun to anybody's decor. I think it could look modern if you took the bow off and it also looks country cute with that little bow on. Speaking of bows, I am making another raffia bow and this is going to be in addition to a wreath that I'm making. All of these items are also from Dollar Tree. So I'm starting off with Dollar Tree's Dollar uh, Grapevine wreath and then I'm adding some more succulents, love these things, and some more seashells from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just attaching everything with glue gun hot glue. So I have one large succulent and then three shells, two on the top of it and one on the bottom. And I actually flipped the wreath around because I liked how this looked better, took the raffia ribbon bow and put it on top. I found these glass beads and I love the color of them. They're just so beachy and beautiful. I just kept them right on the wire that they came in. They were in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. I love the little tassel at the end. So I'm just winding them around the shells and the succulent on this wreath and securing them with the hot glue gun. 
I'm just using tiny little blobs of glue, which is what I usually do when I make wreaths because I like to take things off my wreath and put things on to reuse my wreath for the seasons. So here's how this really cute little summer wreath turned out. I love its nautical vibe with the shells, with the raffia ribbon, and then the color pops through the succulent and that pretty little string of beads. Next, I'm going to make a lantern. I'm actually using an old pickle jar. Just washed it right out of our cupboard. And again, I am using this Dollar Tree netting. I found this in the summer party section at the Dollar Tree. And I just cut enough to wrap around the pickle jar. Again, I do wish that this netting came in a slightly smaller scale. It would have achieved a better effect, kind of what I wanted that was closer to what I had in mind in my head. But I think this still turned out pretty cute. So I'm just placing little blobs of glue where the uh, netting intersects again, and I'm putting that onto the pickle jar. And I'm just cutting off any excess netting that's getting in the way. I found the problem, the only problem with this was that it was kind of hard to make the netting look good where it met at the back of this lantern. However, when you're turning the lantern um, around, you'll see at the end, you don't really notice it. So again, just securing all of the intersections of the netting with the hot glue. And this is how it's going to look once the netting's all glued on. Then to finish up the top of this lantern, I took a piece of dollar store twine and then I'm securing it on either side of the top mouth of this jar. And then I'm taking some more twine and I'm gluing it around the top of the jar and I'm wrapping it around three or four times. Again, just securing everything with glue. And just so you know, the handle here isn't really a functional handle. It's more decorative because it's not that secure with a glue gun, glue gun glue. So just keep that in mind if you're using this for decor. So once you've wrapped and glued the twine all the way around the top of the jar, you can just cut it to size. I found this candle at Dollar Tree as well and I thought it fit perfectly inside this lantern. I think this reminds me of a nautical lantern that I've seen in a higher end store and it only cost me a couple dollars. It's really cute in the vignette on the side of our side table. Next, I'm making a really adorable succulent bowl. So I found this bowl at the Dollar Tree in their garden section. Again, I'm taking my favorite twine because I think it is so beachy and summery, my hot glue gun, and I'm gluing this twine around the top of the bowl. This is just a custom touch that makes this bowl look a little more interesting than what you would find it in the store. So I wrap the twine around the top of the succulent bowl about three times, securing it with hot glue and then trimming it at the end. And then after this, I found these turquoise colored decorative rocks, also from the Dollar Tree, of course, and I poured two bags into this bowl. I love the beachy summery color of these rocks. Then I'm adding some more of my favorite succulent picks. I'm just trimming them so that they sit nicely in the bowl. So I chose to use three of these, all different kinds of succulents. And then I took some more of the Dollar Tree seashells and I'm adding them into the mix as well. And you could change out the accessories in here to make it work for different seasons. I think seashells, of course, work perfectly for summer. I'm loving these little DIY decor accent pieces that I've added to my living room. I also loved all of the little uh, turquoise and pink and gray things that I found like these little mermaid tails and these votive holders at Dollar Tree. If you see them, make sure to snatch them up. I think they are so cute. I also added them to our living room decor for summer this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in those comments below which of these DIYs you liked the best. I think my favorite was probably the wreath with all of the different elements. And I mean, I really loved everything and I think it makes our living room look so cute for summer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Bye.